Hey, welcome to 1979. It's a recording studio. It's all analog, and it's been a couple of years since we've uh, done a video tour, and a lot's changed. So I thought I'd show you around. Come this way. This is our main tracking room. The control room is upstairs, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this is a big enough room where everyone can physically be in here, but their guitar amps are down the hall, which I'll show you in a second. So we're kind of setting up for a session here tomorrow so you can kind of see how things are. Uh, we put drums right here, um, facing this way. Bass player will be right here. The guitar players will be right there, and their amps will be down the hall. And we also have another drum room back here where I'll show you. It's a, it's a real dead sound for like the 70s thing. So we tuck the drums in there once in a while. It's kind of cool. Check it out. Cool, now that you've seen the tracking room, we'll show you the rest of it. Come on. So down the hall, we have all the isolation rooms. Starting with the uh, vocal room, which is really big. Check it out. And then we've got a couple more rooms. We've got a couple more rooms where we can stick guitar amps or people playing acoustic instruments. So there's two of them right here. They're the same size. And then this is my office, which is kind of the, you know, heart of all the 70s stuff. And then we keep the, one of our pianos in here. Um, we're using that on our session tomorrow. It sounds great, it's tuned all the time. And now let me show you the uh, the kitchen lounge, come on. So we've got our dining room here. We've got our uh, coffee maker over there. Even our fridge is from the 70s. And then we've got, uh, you know, Kitchen here with all the dishes and you know pizza maker, bagel, um, toaster oven, cappuccino machine, wine opener, all that kind of stuff. All right, you can kill it. And these are all of our vintage keyboards. We've got a couple B3s, several Wolitzers, a couple Clavs, a couple Farthesas, and then here you see some guitar amps we have as well. So more keys, more amps, and it's real fun to pair the keyboards up with some amps and all that kind of stuff. So it's a big Sonic playground, for sure. Okay, so now we're upstairs, and this is our echo chamber, slash shuffleboard court, slash um, drum room. Um, we use it for all kinds of stuff. We've cut whole EPs up here, and of course, we play a lot of shuffleboard. We've got some nice art on the wall that, that rotates out. And then um, back behind me is the control room. I'll show you that in a minute. And over here we've got another piano that we use a lot. This is actually a restored player piano, which is kind of cool. That's our bar that we use for parties. Over here is the game room. Let's go in there and check that out. So vintage pinball, dartboards, bumper pool, all the fun stuff. This is our upstairs vocal booth. We use, uh, use it for vocals and acoustic guitars and stuff like that. We also have another booth here that we call our makeout room because uh, a lot of people make out in there during parties and what have you. Um, in here we have our plate reverb and we have a spring reverb and we have our mic locker and then power supplies for the consoles, that kind of stuff. And then in here is the control room. So this is the control room. And we've got a camera downstairs and a TV screen right there. So we're tied in visually with what's going on downstairs. And then over here, 
we've got our fully restored 1978 MCI console. Sounds great. And then we've got outboard gear. And then we've got all the tape machines, and I'll show you those in a second. Cool, and the tape machines we restore ourselves as well. And it's important to know that you can do almost everything you can on digital on a tape machine. We can punch in, we can fix just little pieces, you can record the whole take, the band, we can replace a vocal, we can replace a vocal line, we can replace a guitar, all that kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of people will come to record here because the workflow is a lot better than on a computer. And then uh, it's just a lot more organic. And, and when we get done with your session on tape, we transfer it to digital so you can still have the digital files and mix it in Pro Tools or do all the editing you want to do. Um, another benefit of recording here is we don't charge you to use our tape. We've got about 100 reels of tape and we let you use them, we transfer it and it doesn't cost you a dime. So you get all the benefits of the sound and you don't have to pay the extra cost. So welcome to 1979.